Hi guys. <clears throat> I might say good evening, as it's nearly quarter past six in the evening. Um, haven't really done too much today. Uh, my friend is happy with the seat that I put on his bike, so we did that. Put a couple of uh, reflectors on it. I've got a box full of them, so. Uh, what else did I do? Tightened his bottom bracket up because that had come loose on his other bike, that is. So he's happy. Um, and the other thing I've been doing is started assembling this. Um, but I've got a problem. <laughs> Not only has it got steel wheel in the back and alloy in the front, but the front one isn't actually um, mounted in the frame. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, let me just find a light. Now I've got a light buried over here somewhere. No, 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 yep. <laughs> if you look, you can uh, see that gap there. Because the axle is a metric axle. Uh, because this is an old racer, it's got an imperial sized dropout for an imperial wheel. So, next time I go over to Mum's, I'm going to have to bring a wheel back, which uh, has sort of uh, ticked me off a bit. I was hoping that I had a wheel here. I actually thought I did have steel wheels. I'll clean this steel wheel up. I'll take some uh, steel wool to that. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, I can clean most of that off. Seat does go down. It's not stuck. I've got the handlebars on. Uh, I was, and this is up to my friend here, it's up to Kat, I don't know, she may have actually answered me because I'm talking to her about this as I uh, make this video. <laughs> but she has a bad back and I was thinking of leaving the lever where it is because they normally mount on the down tube, um, but of course if you've got a bad back you don't want to be bending down to shift the gears, do you? I mean, I don't know how she likes to ride a racing bike personally, but I like to hold on to this part of the bar, which is why I like the dual actions, but I actually find I can get more brake power pulling the brakes from here. Um, and but mostly I just ride my bikes with it up here, so I'm sitting mostly upright when I ride them. And actually I think with that seat all the way down, yeah that's going to be too tall for me this one. That's taller. Was it a Rally Magnum? Now I'm sure there's some bird crap or something on one of these tubes that I've got to clean off. I've got to put a seat post bolt in there. Uh, I don't know, I can leave the rack on there if she wants it on there. Find a way to mount a reflect reflector on the back for safety. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I've got the bottom bracket off. Uh, that's loose bearings. Uh, I've got to go on a bearing hunt now. But I do have a shit ton of loose ones, so they're still good. They just need a clean, so I'm going to clean them all up. Pack the cups. That's the cup. Repack each cup with some grease and uh, put it all back together with a car crank. Making sure I get the long one on the correct side. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I won't be able to get the crank on because... Uh, this side, the actual drive side, is a lot deeper than the other side. <laughs> that's why that's why one end of a car crank, you can see at this end is longer. So that's the drive side. Not normally done on a standard axle like that one, you know, I think they are they look the same length anyway. Some of them are, you just got to check them before you put them in, make sure you get them around the right way. That's how I got the um, gears working on my brother's hybrid bike. Numpty Nuts here had put the um, 
bottom bracket axle in round the wrong way so the crank was actually sitting too far from the frame and thus the front derailleur wouldn't reach top gear so I had to take all that apart turn the axle around and then put it all back together again now it works fine but uh, I will put some tape on the handlebar uh, yeah but I really wanted to get it done before Thursday so I could take it over with the mountain bike but uh, that ain't gonna happen that's gonna have to go over another day unfortunately because I'm not gonna be able to get to mum's until the weekend so yeah it's kind of throwing a spanner in the works but uh, never mind doesn't matter I must have the camera on if you're meowing <laughs> yeah I didn't want to put the camera on straight away so I've got another 700 wheel here but again that's a modern one and metric and won't fit the bloody forks I've literally got it just sort of the nuts are just bolted on the edge of the forks just so I can roll it around and do a bit more work on it and uh, before I forget yeah I was right these ones are too short so I'm gonna have to go and look through my collection we're not gonna remember where I put oh I know where they are they're in a blue tub in the outside cupboard so I have to go and look through there for some longer ones because these bits the length they come in all sorts of different lengths So, uh, I think I've got to use steel wheels anyway because I don't think I've got any alloy brake pads like that. I think mine are all steel. But I'll reuse these brake pads. I don't know, I might have some uh, for a thingy. Bob, what's it? I don't know, she ain't replied yet. I'd have to ask her again, she might have forgot. <laughs> well, oh, I found another one of these handlebar setups in my big yellow tub in the outside cupboard as well. So I've got three straight bars now. So I'll take those to mum's at the weekend. And uh, I can swap them in that lady's bike. And that'll clean it up a heck of a lot just doing that because it really has got some manky looking. Ooh, where's the light? Hello? Oh, there we go. That really has got some uh, manky looking bars, and that's the bit that lets it down the most. But for the sake of just swapping them over for a clean pair, which is absolutely identical, I've got them. Might as well do it. Uh, yeah, I think we have to put that seat all the way down, but I'm going to take it out first, that seat post, and just do what I did with the... Um, mountain bike which I have fixed the gears on they work I've just got to change the pedal because one of them's absolutely knackered it is knackered the bearings and the actual pedal are gone so I need two new pedals if I can get damn things off pedals and an aluminium crank yeah that's going to be fun trying to get that off mind you everything else came off easy enough so uh touch wood with my foot <laughs> I don't know it's just something my parents always used to say touch wood or knock on wood um, I can get the pedals off but yeah when I was down there if you're wondering what bike I'm talking about I'm talking about the sabotage detonator I had up here with the stuck seat post um, all I did while I was downstairs with my friend was a uh, disconnect the gear cable, swap two of the cable outers the one from the gear shifter down to the stop on the frame and one from the stop on the frame at the rear to the derailleur and uh, it works a treat now so I was right, it was the outers that were causing the issue so they're working fine but it's, it's rideable as it is but that pedal is horrible so as soon as I get charged I'm going to Chance, a chance. As soon as I get a chance, I'll swap the pedals over. I've got a crank up here which has got some decent pedals on that I could 
nick the pedals off of, but then again, if I'm going to use the crank, because it is a good crank, it came off that universal I stripped for parts. I'll tell you, it is a good crank, so I don't know if I want to take the um, pedals off of it or just leave it as it is. And I've got a box full of pedals, I might be able to find a pair that will fit. Because again, they have different thread sizes as well. Different thread sizes in there. As well as a left and a right, you can't swap them. Because <laughs> uh, I do believe it's the left side that's got left thread. If I remember correctly, I always forget. If memory serves correctly tonight, and if it is working tonight, my memory isn't always working, then uh, yeah, it's the left one that's got the reverse thread. Right, wouldn't take a lot to get, if I had the wheel, I could have had this done tonight. So I've got a pile of tubes there, I know where the calipers are, I know where my chains are to put a chain on it. In fact, I do believe I've got a chain that'll fit it down in the shed. I've got all the cable stops to bolt on here for the gear cable and down there to guide it through to the drailer. Got all that. In fact, because there's no stop at the... B Actually, no, I know what I could use down there. I know exactly what I could use. What you get on the three speeds, those little cable clamps that go on the back here for the three speed. Uh, I could put one of those in there for the rear bit. That should fit the rear fork. But it's either that or... I'll just put, you know, one long bit of outer strap to the frame and down to the dryer, which is another way, but I think, I don't know, I'll sort, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it, it'll be easier with just one long um, bit of cable outer that I can strap to the frame, remembering to leave enough slack up there for steering. <laughs> I don't want to do this bit too tight. But I think it would be better personally to leave it up there. I know if I had a bad back, that's where I'd want it anyway. Um, well, I don't really want to go banging around for parts tonight, so I'll go looking for the brake calipers in the morning. What's tomorrow? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. We'll look for those tomorrow. Um, <laughs> she's just put back, that sucks. Yes, it does. <laughs> In reference to the front wheel. Ah, what a bitch. I swear I had a steel one here, because I did have a wheel bolted in the front of that. But I may have used it for something else, or it's hiding somewhere. I know it's not in the cupboard up here, because uh, I've had that cupboard turfed out today. I found another black wheel. Well, actually, I found two black wheels. Front ones for um, that rally bike at Mum's. So, And I've got a back wheel on the landing that's buckled, but has a very good axle and bearings in it. So, the free wheel has seized. Well... It just rocks back and forth at dump free wheel, but I think with a bit of WD-40 squirt through there and a re-grease, I could salvage it, but I've got plenty of them, so I don't need it. Still got to take the bloody thing off, though, and get to the axle. But I'm hoping I can put the axle in this one, which means I do have to go down to the shed. Not only to lock the bike up, but I need my pipe wrench, because I was going to sit and... Uh, do that back wheel tonight so it's ready for the weekend so what I've got to do is take it over to mum's in theory <laughs> but, uh, obviously it's not going to fit the bike with an axle that short in it so that's one thing I've got to do tonight because it's a quiet job uh, so I think I'm going to slip my boots on just go and lock my mountain bike up. 
Uh, oh, we've got little pot bits to bring up as well. So we've got to lock the mountain bike up, bring my uh, pipe wrench up that I use to remove free wheels, along with the little tool. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit tough on that back wheel that I've got on the landing. Oh dear. Yeah, if you're wondering where the silver fox is, I've got it in the bedroom for the time being. Uh, <laughs> just so as it's out of the way of that. On one hand, I'm sort of glad that that's going to a new home, because... Uh, I was getting tired of moving the frame around in the shed outside. <laughs> number of times I just threw it out of the shed and onto the gravel. But uh, yeah, it's not bad for frame. A little bit of wrist here and there. But uh, it still looks relatively alright. You know, I've seen a lot worse. I've actually seen a hell of a lot worse being ridden around town, so. <laughs> I've seen bikes that are so bad being ridden around town that it actually makes this look like a brand new bike, but yeah, <laughs> I don't actually know why people bother riding them, but I know that sabotage I've just fixed up isn't the best looking bike in the world, but by the time I actually finish cleaning it all up and replace, replace, the fuck is replace, replace a few rusty bolts and a few other rusty bits and pieces, uh, I think that'll look quite smart and just polish the frame up a bit. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just going to slip the boots on. Go put the bike, like I said, go put the bike up and uh, I'll be back later. Don't know when, it could be just before I go to bed. It could be in a few hours time, I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back later. Okay. Um, completely forgot what I was going to say. Well, I also, oh yeah, that was it. There's a few things that I'd seen on Facebook that I wanted to chat about. But uh, I could do that in a little while if I still want to. Anyway, what I forgot to mention earlier was that uh, I've sorted the brakes out on this bike. That rear one was squeaking like hell all the way home when I walked at home. Um, so last night I did take the brake caliper off and gave the disc a clean because there was some sort of horrible residue all over it which was probably causing the squeak. And I did give the brake pads a clean as well in case there was anything on that and uh, that seems to have cured the problem. And uh, I've set both brakes up so the brakes work. As far as I can tell the gears work. <laughs> Soaked the front derailleur in some WD-40 because that was... Um, sticking when you put it in a third it wouldn't retract when you shifted back down to first without giving it a little tap with your foot or something but uh, that seems to work now uh, so yeah aside from putting the bottom bracket bearings in some brand new ones it's pretty much rideable back tire that's got to be done Yeah, so I'd soon be good to uh, good to ride. I hope. Um, I am also looking for another. Well, I'm not sure if I want a fully rigid framed mountain bike, you know, no suspension, or one with front suspension because I've done that black sabotage. That's now fully working apart from the pedals. Uh, I don't want to put any of them up for sale yet because I don't know which one I want. I want to keep at least one that I got recently. I am leaning towards the rally, the green rally. Um, I've got that back wheel done. It's got the um, proper axle in it. There's a fair bit of thread hanging off, hanging out of either side of the hub because I think that axle's a little bit too long for that hub. But I'd rather it too long than too short. I don't think I'm going to need to add spaces to the wheel, but I can. I'll take at least a couple different size spaces out with me, if, just in case I need to to get it to fit the frame. 
Um, I've got back, got back wheels. Got black front wheels as well, so I can put a pair back in. Uh, assuming the rally came with black wheels, I don't know. It's just got a black rear wheel and a standard alloy front wheel. Uh, Cat from Cat's Cat Strikes. I can't remember the full name off the top of my head now. That's bad. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've got a memory like a sieve. But um, she said it was up to me where I put the um, gear shifter. But uh, keeping in mind, um, she does have a bad back. I think that would be the best place for it. If you don't like it there, I can always move it. That's not a problem. But for now, I'll leave it where it is. <laughs> leave her, leave her where it is. Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get the bottom bracket all stuck on. I know it's only got five gears, but to be honest, with a racing bike, I find you don't really need that many gears. Not on an oldie one like this one, a good old classic rally. So I've got a pump holder look built into the frame. It's not a bad colour either, I like the colour. But I like my blue and white one better that I've got down in the shed, which has got flat tyres because it hasn't been used for so long. Oops. Actually, I've got <laughs> my um, French three-speed gentleman's bike, town bike, whatever you want to call it. I think town bike would actually be a proper name for it, to be honest. That's uh, got a couple of flat tyres as well because it's been months since I used that. But I actually find thin tyres like this seem to lose air and go flat a lot easier and quicker than mountain bikes. Don't know what the reason for that is. We had sausage, egg and chips for tea. And a few biggies for dessert. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. Now my burps taste like eggs. <laughs> uh, I think tomorrow is going to be a clean the kitchen day. Well, I'll probably multitask because I'll have to leave things to soak, but it's a complete fucking shithole in here. Look at it. Um, and I've got some computers I want to. You trim my moustache, I think, and keep eating, keep eating me whiskers. Yeah, I've got computers I want to work on, and uh, I don't really have a suitable surface anywhere to do it on. So I want to get in here, wipe these worktops down, have a clean up, chuck some shit in the bin. Can't be asked with that more. I was going to break it for parts, but I really cannot be asked to be honest. Bin. <laughs> That's my answer to that, bin it. Uh, cooker's going to need a clean. Actually, for me, that cooker is not too bad. The cooker's moved. Thought it had. Yeah, there we go. Ugh, I bet there's some grime down the side of that as well. Yeah. Gonna have a sort out up here as well. I'm gonna stack those speakers up. Well, actually I can't, can I? Because they're too deep. But uh, as I want the speakers, but I don't need them right now. So I'm gonna slide those speakers right up to the end. There's some computer I/O plates in that. So I'm gonna bring that box this end along with this one. And basically in between it's going to be my folders of paperwork and empty cardboard boxes for postage. I don't like selling things like that on eBay but every now and again I do find something that's worth putting on eBay. So uh, I will do that and keep the odd box but I've got that drylier on there at the moment. Oh yeah the cup of tea thing. What is the best cup of tea, or the perfect cup of tea? 
Well, my reply to that was it's basically down to your own tastes and your own preferences, but for me, I prefer either a three or a four. They would be my preferred. I used to drink black. Six is far too white and milky for me. I might just manage a five. But yeah, ordinarily it'd be a three or a four for me. For your humble British cup of tea. Cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea, love? Oh dear. Oh yeah, I've got those tyres to take to Mum's as well, because I want to, hopefully, if they fit the rims, put those on the other gents' bike, because, uh, gents' racer, that is, that I've got at Mum's, because, uh, tyres are knackered. <laughs> They're far too cracked, I'm not even going to attempt to pump those up yet. Uh, I've got tubes on the floor here. If I get a chance, I'm going to try and do those pedals on the sabotage tomorrow. And uh, if it rides perfectly fine, I might stick it up on eBay for 25 quid. Or Gumtree. I could list it on loads and loads of Facebook for sale sites, but... I find it so hard to keep up with Facebook for sale sites. I actually lose track on what I've posted and or where I've posted, I should say. And then people reply to my advert, and it just doesn't give me the notification up there, so I don't realise they've replied. So that's why I don't really bother with Facebook for sale groups anymore. That's just too annoying for me. Oh well. <laughs> this was the other thing I was going to talk about, but it's sort of a moot point now because it's been scrapped. Um, in the seaside towns of Cromer and Sheringham, which is just along the coast from here, about a 15 minute drive to Cromer on a good day so long as the traffic's fine, they were thinking of putting these um, on-street parking meters so you'd have to pay to park on the street and I didn't agree with that because the way I see it the road is a public highway and you shouldn't pay to park on it. Um, of course a lot of the car parks um, you have to pay to use because they are council owned land so of course if you want to park on someone's land and they want to charge you for it Fair enough. <laughs> the council are well within their right to charge you to park on their land, so... But as I said, public roads, no. I don't agree with that. Not unless it's in a marked parking area, like a parking bay or something. And of course, they could. But if it was just, you know, on the side of the road or something, nah. Especially as most of the time, like in a town centre, people will just park and they're there for like two minutes and bug it off. You don't really want to pay for like minimum of 30 minutes just to, for a two minute stop. But uh, North Norfolk Radio have just had it confirmed that the plan has been scrapped. So it's not going to go ahead anyway. Update, Norfolk Parking Partnership Chairman has tonight confirmed to North Norfolk Radio that the parking meter plan for Chrome and Sheringham is being scrapped. There will be a full interview with him at 10.30 tomorrow morning. might listen in to it if uh... did I just see what I thought I saw Let's do... <laughs> yep I did <laughs> I was not expecting that when I was scrolling down it's from a site that's called idiot UK drivers exposed 
they've got their own website and I've got their Facebook page as well but um, yeah they said that was unexpected I was actually I was not expecting that I thought you know a car was going to pull out in front of him or something the usual shit not a horse and trap <laughs> that was definitely new <laughs> That's where Nemo is. Smile! Smile for the camera. Oi, sourpuss, smile. Mm. No, you don't like it. <laughs> da -da -da -da. The scariest bridge in the world leaves drivers scared to death. Would you drive over it? Why don't you know a lady that wouldn't, because she's terrified of going over bridges. In fact, it's one of Mum's friends, and in fact, when Mum was... I can't remember where they were going, but they were on a, going on a... Driving to somewhere, I can't remember where, but they came to a bridge, and my Mum actually had to get out and drive the car over the bridge. Because uh, she couldn't do it. Her friend just could not do it. Just another uh, little story for you. Don't know if it's Facebook or what, but the scrolling is really, really jerky on it tonight. Anyway, I think I'm going to put the camera down for a little while because I might play some GTA. I don't know. But so far it's about half an hour video with two segments. <laughs> I'm telling you. The good night ending section clip, whatever you want to call it, won't be too long anyway. So I'll put the camera down and uh, I'll come back pretty much before I go to bed. So see you in a little while. Bored. Utterly bored at the moment. It's twenty past midnight. Hold on a minute. This clock is pissing me off. Yeah. A little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing some uh GTA and uh, that's about it. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> it's gone dark. But I haven't been sitting sitting around all evening because uh, I have sorted all that out. And uh, inside one of those speakers, it was this one actually. I found that lot. Wonder what the hell it was rattling around in there. Got mega blocks. Lego Duplo. Toy screw. Bin. Some scrap bits of paper. What did I do with that? That's all right. What's this? That. It's not a bit of Lego Duplo. Some more rubbish. Right. Magnet. <laughs> well, that's that question. What have we got? A dinosaur. Arr. And some scrap bits of paper. Mega blocks. That's what I think of mega blocks. And these little teddy bear uh, pin badge thing. Dragonfly brooch. Brooch. 
bracelet from the look of it. It's got something written on it. What's it got written on it? Um, Tiffany and Co. New York. Hmm. Please return to Tiffany and Co. New York. Nine two five. Wow. So, well, if that's come from New York, that's come a long way. And what the hell was it doing in the back of a speaker? Oh, I've got no idea what this is, a necklace of some sort. Does that open? No, I don't think so. I was just wondering if that end bit there opened up. But uh, I think that's just a bit of costume jewellery. I don't feel or look. No, it's got plastic beads on it. I think. Hmm. Nah. Duplo I can keep and that can go in my box of random Lego that I don't need. Oh, once I've got enough I'll just sell it as a job lot. Cable. What's that one? Oh! Molex SATA cable. Handy. I'll probably need that. That's where my other SATA cables are. Hello, what's this? Yeah, another one. <laughs> and... No, it doesn't say what this one is. DVD driver. Uh, there's a heat sink and then there's just a bunch of I.O. plates and that. Huh? Not sure where I'm going to put that yet because it was living up there. It's there's no room up there now. <laughs> uh, right. Anything else for the bin? Oh, there's another one. Mega blocks. Mega blocks. Had some out of date paracetamol up there as well. God knows how long that had been up there, but that had oath. I don't actually know what the date was on it. 03 something. Can't remember. Right. I don't know, I was just sort of daydreaming and scratching my head because I've got a bit of sarasas playing up on the side of my head again. Makes you look like I've got dandruff by hand, it's just dried skin that's flaking from the sarasas. Sarasas. That's what all that is. That was a very poor German accent there. I don't even know why I went into a German accent to be honest. Oh, there you are. Where you been hiding? You've been hiding up. Yes, you have. Uh, right. It's a clean... No, it's a clean t dirty t-shirt. I thought it was a clean bed sheet. I've got bed sheet. Very similar colour to that. Don't know how I confused a t-shirt with a bed sheet, but never mind. Nice new batteries. I am very tempted to bring the laptop in here and just chill out in bed with the laptop on and I don't know. Watch something. Could stick a DVD on, I suppose. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's a proper road sign from the side of a street from a signpost or something. No idea what my friend was doing with it. Well actually I think if I remember correctly it was in a bunch of his dad's stuff. But a little highly reflective street sign for a cycle path. Don't know. I get lots of random things. I found that up on that cabinet as well. I'd wondered where that disappeared to. Oh. There's nothing going on on Facebook. Yeah. It's a quiet night. My friend all the way over in France hasn't even been on, but I'm not actually surprised. He downloaded a new game last night, so he's probably been playing that. If he's um, too in engrossed into a game, he won't get on long. Which is fair enough, because uh, you can't really split your attention that many ways, can you? Yeah, right. I just think I've got to call it a night. Um, I wasn't forget to put my cola back in the fridge. I don't know if... No, I won't see Mum tomorrow. I'll see her Thursday. So, tomorrow's plan of action. I sort of... Kind of sort of got done today what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a start on that. And fix the gears on the sabotage. So yeah, pretty much got done what I wanted to do. I'll do the kitchen tomorrow. As soon as some money comes in, I can do the bottom bracket bearings on the silver fox. Be great to get that going. And. Uh, Hopefully, if I like it, I've got a feeling I will actually. I'll uh, change these horrible gear shifters. Anyway, yeah, turn the screen around so I can see what I'm doing. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.